Here's yet another study suggesting that meat alternatives are a healthier option than meat. In this four-week randomized controlled trial, 72 participants were split into two groups. One was given home deliveries of meat and fish products, while the other group was given home deliveries of mycoprotein-based meat alternatives from the company Corn. In addition to being a great protein source, mycoprotein is also rich in fiber, so those in the mycoprotein group ended up consuming more fiber throughout the study. Otherwise, total calorie, carbohydrate, protein, fat, and alcohol intake were similar between groups. And breaking it down further, total saturated, monounsaturated, and polyunsaturated fat intakes were similar as well. But cholesterol intake was significantly lower in the mycoprotein group. Total and LDL cholesterol levels dropped more in the mycoprotein group than the control group, probably owing to the higher fiber and lower cholesterol intake, while there were no significant differences in HDL or triglyceride levels. And non-HDL cholesterol levels, arguably the best predictor of cardiovascular risk that they measured in the study, only significantly improved in the mycoprotein group. Blood glucose levels were 13% lower in the mycoprotein group after the intervention, and C-peptide levels were 27% lower. And C-peptide is a marker of insulin production, so it makes sense that if your blood glucose levels are lower, you'll need to make less insulin. So as the evidence continues to mount, suggesting that meat alternatives are healthier options than the meat they typically replace, I'm still waiting for even a single study to suggest the opposite, rather than memes pointing to the number of ingredients.